there were times when I would just want to curl up in a ball and, and just wish I could turn everything off, but I was trapped in it. I was trapped in a cycle that was essentially inescapable. And on December 5th of 2013, we knew we weren't gonna make payroll. And I had to go and I had to tell my staff that they didn't have a job anymore. And that was probably one of the most painful conversations of my life. We midnight moved out of my office space and I couldn't let my customers' data be trapped there. We had to take all the computers and all the furniture and um, get out. So on December 5th, I shut down that business. On December 13th, I started again. Um, to have her believe that it was possible for me to turn my life around it was humbling. Her belief that it was possible was one of the reasons that I didn't give up. I mean, I could have just gone and worked a job, right? I mean, I collapsed a business. I could have just gone and earned a six-figure salary doing IT services for the rest of my life, um, which I guess would have been very comfortable, and I'm sure a lot of people would do that. But because she saw something in me, I persisted. It helped me, again, give myself permission to believe that I'm, I have the potential to do something great in the world. And it's not just my, my parents or my friends saying, yeah, we believe in you, right? It's someone who's gone through challenges in life and who has built businesses and has handled millions of dollars. There's, there's some foundation to that that carried weight. There was a momentum, there was like an energy to it that's a bit hard to put into words. I'm, I'm grateful for Laurel, absolutely. I'm, her dedication to her cause and her dedication to her students is paramount. I mean, her cause is something that I believe in and I, I hope to be a part of it for as long as I can be. So in the last three months, I've tripled my recurring revenues, I've doubled my project revenues, I've hired my chief technology officer and delegated 80% of my operational responsibilities. I've traveled around the world um, teaching and studying. I've had the opportunity to uh, become the leader of a 150 person uh, nonprofit group in Calgary, Alberta dedicated to inspiring better fathers and leaders. Uh, and I've really begun to emerge into what I believe is my greatest potential as a teacher. Um, but I'm humbled to the idea that there's always more to do and always more to grow. So uh, really, I mean, I hope to make a bigger difference in the years and decades to come. It's inspiring. I love to be of service to people, so um, to be able to increase my monthly revenues has been huge. So, I, I mean, I feel more stable, I feel more purposeful, I, I feel more um, inspired to contribute, I feel more creative, and um, I'm feeling more and more wanting to serve. I want to help people. Uh, so, I mean, I'm expanding and we're, you know, opening new business divisions, sales and marketing automation strategies and stuff like that, so. I've, I've always been humble in my lifestyle. I like to um, keep myself dressed well, and I like to eat high quality foods, and I like to travel. Um, but I'm more interested in building my legacy. I, I want to build my $100 million scholarship fund, uh, so every spare dollar that I, I create goes into that. Uh, what I would say to you is that there's never a decision in life of any importance where you're not taking a leap of faith. And if, there, if you have questions in your mind about wealth building and you have questions in your mind about building a business or you have questions in your mind about being of service or you just want to figure out uh, how to manage your cash and your assets, I would say act now and make sure that you're fully committed to your own mission in life because you're going to get exactly what you put into it out of it. And I guarantee that when you show up with a mindset to receive and a mindset to um, fully break down your own barriers around wealth building and managing assets and, and building business. I have no question or no doubt in my mind that Laurel can help you to achieve your goals and to ask questions that are gonna unlock your potential and help you to make a difference in the world. What I would say to you is that you'll never make a decision in life that is completely comfortable. And if your intuition is telling you to proceed with this opportunity, go for it. And go for it as quickly as you can because the sooner you engage with Laurel and the sooner you connect with her community, the more you're going to have your questions answered, you're going to have inspiration, gratitude for what you're able to create, and you're going to make a bigger difference in the world, and most importantly, a bigger difference for yourself.